Ja! Getting shut down in the big warehouse at Donuts and Deadlifts for printing was a blessing in disguise because had we put that auto press in here, there was no more room for expansion. And so when we moved into this warehouse, 6,000 square feet was what we needed at the time. And then about a, two months ago, I was like, we filled this warehouse out, we're tapped out, what are we gonna do? We're in here for five years. So I'm really excited because this is like a whole new world for us. So once we get in the swing of things and we got that new auto press going and we can just pump those orders out, it's gonna be like huge for the business. So the second building was, even though it completely caught us off guard, it was absolutely necessary because we can fit two auto presses in that building when the time comes and we now have room to fulfill for like 20 more brands in the Donuts and Deadlifts warehouse because there's not two presses and two dryers in it. So. We did really well at the Arnold. It was the most successful year we've ever had on every level. And I've watched Ben literally kill himself since August of last year, manually screen printing, and it I couldn't watch it anymore. And that man deserves an auto press. And so we put down a big down payment and financed the rest. And enter the donuts and deadlifts, uh, the DNDLMFG auto press. Purchaser uncrates the equipment and is supposed to have everything ready for M and R when they get their oh my reinstall God. date. I know what we're doing next week, so it's gonna come Friday and we're gonna. But Nicole also said she just wanted to ship it out early to make sure that it got there and that we weren't waiting around on it, wasting a day on Monday for one of the install things because right. it's gonna take three or four days to install everything and train them. So. So we had to put a little halt to uh, screen printing and that happened right when we had ordered our auto press. So everything got put on hold while we were trying to find an, a building, a new building, a secondary building in a quickness. So what happened is Ben Harkle Road, screen printing extraordinaire, went and found us a new building. And then the uh, auto press got here in like a couple days. Those freight companies really just get that shit out. A year ago from right now, 
we hadn't even like started looking at second buildings because Donuts and Elves was still being run out of the gym. And so a year ago, what is it? June, May? A year ago from right now, Chloe and I were in Texas talking about like manufacturing and the idea of buying screen printing equipment was still like, felt like a pipe dream. And it's just crazy to think we bought the manual stuff in July and we have auto. Like I'm blown away. It doesn't even feel real yet. And we don't know how to use any of this shit. There's a certain someone named Scott Graham, and that is the owner of Pinpoint Merch, who does all of our cut and sew, and Scott is the reason I completely fell in love with screen printing and wanted to pursue it. And I went into Scott's warehouse and I saw teamwork, and I saw happy employees, and I saw creativity. Them showing me that it's possible, like I told Scott, I'm gonna go buy screen printing equipment, I'm gonna bring this in house. And Scott, every other person I told this to, my other printers told me I'd fail because they didn't want to lose my business. And Scott was like, you know what, if anyone can do it, it's you. So it showed up about last week and it's completely overwhelming. Uh, <laughs> I'm terrified of the thing. I don't want to go anywhere near the thing. It's terrifying. There's cords and pipes and tubes everywhere that I don't understand that aren't on the other press. So I'm just gonna stay over with the manual press and mind my own business for about a month until they get it figured out. What's the most exciting thing about this auto press is that inventory should no longer be an issue at all, which is something I've been excited to say for four and a half years. I'm just really excited to see how it's all gonna work because we've been so behind because we haven't been able to print anything. We weren't gonna print until July. We were gonna like practice on the auto press. We don't have time for practice. So we're diving head first like we always do, going for it and Ben is confident, and I'm confident in Ben. We originally were only gonna print for ourselves and maybe a few friends. Um, I fucking fell in love with it. I fell in love with screen printing, as stupid as it sounds. God, I'm crying over it. it. It made mine and Ben's relationship even stronger because it allowed us like to create together. And like, I care so much that made me realize like, I wanna screen print for other people and I wanna help other people's brands get the help I never got. And like, we genuinely care about quality so much and Ben's, standard for quality is like even higher than mine which is crazy and so as we got more and more engulfed in this I realized that this is something I want to do for other people and other brands. I personally am most excited about that side of things with DNDL MFG like helping other people build their brands into what Donuts and Deadlifts has become because like for me it's the ideas and the creativity and this auto press is allowing me to free up me giving that to other people.